Welcome back. We're now into the final weeks of the legislative session and more Utah women than ever before are participating in the lawmaking process. That's for sure. Senior political correspondent Glenn Mills takes us inside what's known as the pink wave and has an inside look at what some of the new legislators hope to accomplish. Election night brought in historical movement for women in our state. Two lawmakers I caught up with say they are proud to be part of that, but there's still progress to make. It's a new day in the Utah legislature. Women now take up 25 seats between the House and Senate more than ever before. This was a record-breaking year for women running for office both nationally and here locally. And I think it just shows that more and more of us are stepping up and getting involved in running for office. Representative Suzanne Harrison flipped an open seat in House District 32. She's one of 19 women serving in the House out of 75 total members. In the Senate, Senator Kathleen Reby is one of six women out of 29 total members. She took on an incumbent and flipped Senate District 8. I think women bring a, a higher degree of compassion to this position. As mothers and caretakers of our families, we understand the struggles of that. Now just a few weeks into their legislative careers, both have high hopes of making an impact. Harrison, a medical doctor, is serving on the transportation, economic development and workforce services, and the natural resources committees. She says those suit her goals well. The things I'm passionate about are air quality, education, you know, clean water, making sure we have affordable health care for folks. Reby, a teacher, serves on the transportation, technology, government operations, and most of the education committees. She's laser focused on the latter. As a teacher, one of my biggest goals is to bring some more resources to our kids and resources that are directed towards data driven results. Both lawmakers say it's an honor to be part of the largest female class at the Utah legislature but point out it's still not reflective of the overall picture. Women make up about half of the general population of Utah, but only 24% of the legislature. I would hope that we would get to closer to a 50% um, representation. There's still a long way to go, but Harrison says a recent focus from local organizations is helping make strides. This is where these organizations in the community like Real Women Run, the Women's Leadership Institute are so important in getting out there in community and reminding people that we need more voices up here. She's encouraging other women to step up to the challenge, but says that's only part of the equation. I don't believe people voted for me because I'm a woman. I think people voted for me because I stepped up to run, I'm qualified, and I was a great candidate. And I think as more and more women realize that they have a skill set and a voice that's really needed up here, they too will hopefully throw their hat in the ring. This is an issue all across the country. The national average for female representation in state legislatures is only 28 percent. Only one state has 50 percent of its legislature made up of women, and that's Nevada. Another neighbor, Colorado, is close behind at 47 percent. That's according to the Hinckley Institute of Politics. Back to you. Time now 